The UCD Intel Master's Scholars is a program that rewards creativity and innovation, something that this global pandemic is asking a little bit of us all as we adapt to the new normal. So we turned a live event into an online series. It's called Message in a Bottle. Enjoy. Hello, my name is Kevin Nolan. I'm an assistant professor in the School of Mechanical and Materials Engineering in UCD. Um, so I'll tell you a bit about how I got where I am and kind of my, my career path. I've, I've kind of jumped back and forth between academia and industry in my career and I've been very lucky to see a lot of different environments and, 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 and different uh, fields. Um, so I, I grew up in Wexford. Uh, my father's a mechanic and I grew up around machinery and helping him fix tractors and all kinds of uh, and interesting situations and places. Um, so I always had an interest in, in mechanical things and technology. And as a child, I was always very, very interested in aviation and aircraft. So just one of those things that just struck me as being very, very exciting and very interesting. Um, to the point even that during my leaving cert, I went to an air show in Valdonnell um, and still managed to scrape through. So I, uh, I went to um, UL and I studied aeronautical engineering. Um, I had a fantastic time there. It's a fantastic university. Um, while in UL, I, you get to go on a work placement, much like we do in UCD, and I spent nine months in Baldonnell in the Irish Army Air Corps, where I got to work every day with some amazing people on some very, very you know, special aircraft. They had, at the time, they had some very old aircraft, and they were doing fantastic work to keep them flying, and I learned an awful lot about how um, you know, aircraft are operated and, and, and maintained. It's very, very interesting. Um, while at UL, I also went and got my own uh, work placements. I went and I got an internship with Honeywell down in Waterford, um, where they make um, many of the world's turbochargers. So the compressor wheel and the turbine wheel you find in a turbocharger. So the, at the time, the vast majority of those were being fabricated in Waterford. And it was very interesting to see. So um, you got to see the, the manufacturing side, the maintenance side, and so forth. Um, so after my undergraduate in UL, I did a PhD with the um, Stokes Institute, in, in also in UL. Um, primarily looking at turbulence, looking at flow of boundary layers over surfaces and looking at the formation, the genesis of turbulence, I suppose you could say. And that was primarily experimental work and I really enjoyed working with wind tunnels and learning all about optics. And I developed a love of photography while, uh, while working there, um, which was fantastic and a really you know, interesting kind of technical but creative hobby. So after my time in UL, I took my first real dip into uh, industry. I started working um, with a startup spun out from UL called Stokes Bio. Um, so I've gone from these kind of aircraft down to turbochargers, now looking at these little micro scale devices that are carrying what are called microfluidic amounts of fluid um, for diagnosing things like cancer and so forth. So very, very rewarding work. I really enjoyed what I did there. I was designing software and optics for uh, interrogating these little micro scale fluidic devices. So a lot of the work I learned, a lot of the techniques I learned during my uh, PhD could be applied, which is very interesting. You know, you take turbulence in a wind tunnel and microscale droplets traveling in, in these micro channels and being able to use the same tools, which is, which is very rewarding, but you know, the skills you have are very transferable. I think that's one of the strengths of engineering. So after my time in Stokes Bio, I moved over to London and I was a Marie Curie uh, fellow at Imperial College London. Um, where I spent two very productive years working on uh, computer simulations of turbulence. So you can imagine almost like my PhD was the experimental work and my time in London was the uh, very kind of in-depth numerical side of it. And again, learned a huge amount of uh, information on, on computational uh, uh, processing and uh, post-processing post of, of computational data. We had terabytes of data. It was very, very uh, interesting to learn how to process it quickly. It's very important that you can get through such data and get new insights. One of the things I learned that people often don't do that in this kind of work because there's so much data, they just store the average in time as the data is essentially um, processed by the computer. And what I did is I stored all the data and I tracked every single structure in the data to try and get new insights. And we, and we, we did that. We managed to see some, some novel results that hadn't been seen before about the growth of turbulence, which was, again, very rewarding. And I developed some techniques for um, analyzing those flows. And I've since seen people in literature and other scientific papers use those, those techniques, which again is really re rewarding to see that people employ the methods you use to understand uh, complex flows like turbulence. 
When I left Imperial, after my two years, it would have been around 2012, I came back to Ireland and I started working again in industry in uh, Bell Labs. But Bell Labs is interesting. It's kind of a nice mix between academia and industry. We have PhD students, we do research grants, but we also do product design and we focus on uh, products that are important to uh, Bell Labs' parent company at the time was Agatel Lucent, uh, is now Nokia. Um, so primarily the group I was working with in Bell Labs was focused on thermal management, which is actually a, th- a fluid mechanics or a thermal fluids problem. So things get hot, you pass liquid or air or some fluid over to take that heat away, um, and we want to design efficient systems that can, that can deal with that. So did a lot of work, again, using microfluidics to um, pump viscoelastic flows to enhance mixing, to increase heat transfer. A lot of work on oscillating fans to try and make the, the essentially moving fans but have no physical moving parts. It's like an oscillating beam, so a lot of work on that as well. Um, primarily experimental work, but some numerical work as well. Um, and in, in the last year and a half now, since September 2018, I've been here at UCD. Um, I teach Fluid Mechanics 1 and Fluid Mechanics 2, which I love, it's something that's very close to my heart. And um, yeah, and I'll be here doing research and teaching for the foreseeable future. Thank you.